Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another Christmas home tour. So this is my Christmas 2021 home tour. We have done so many things this year that I'm very proud of, very excited to show you. I have videos for every single project individually, as well as this collective project. So we're just gonna kind of walk throughout my living room, dining room, kitchen, and my bedroom. Although as you can see, down the dark, mysterious hallway. I, that side of the house is under a lot of trees. It's much darker down there. Um, but I'm really excited to show you. Obviously, you can see I have my rose gold tree from last year and my new pink and seafoam tree up this year. So we're gonna go ahead and just show you everything. The dogs are in the back room. They are not super thrilled about it. So let's see how we can get this done. We're gonna jump right into it starting with the front door so that you get the full experience. Let's call it an experience. <laughs> Let's jump right in. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and go inside. We're obviously starting in the living room. So you can see I've got all my lights on. I've done two trees this year because we're psycho. So this is the same rose gold tree that we put up last year. And this is the brand new tree that we just put up. And it is pink and sea foam this year. I really love how it turned out. I also really love last year, this tree was beautiful, but to me, it didn't really read as rose gold this year with the true two trees in the room together it really reads as rose gold like you can 100 percent tell so you're also getting a sneak peek of my new couch because i think this is the first time that's been seen so let's start right over here so right when you come in start with a few pretty christmas gnomes so these are the ones i just made i will link to that video but We've got the pretty pink one with the winter bow. And then I made a few with the little Christmas bows and the pretty noses, like a little Christmas present. And then we've got the other two big ones down here, little present and the antler bow. So I don't know, I really like these little gnomes. I've made them for Easter, I made them for Halloween. I make them for all different seasons and I just think they look cute on my little secretary. I like changing them out for the seasons and making them with different colors. So this time we did pink and a dark blue and a light blue to kind of go with the whole theme where we have right now. And then we come right over here. I guess let's go on this side. So here's the tree full four to ceiling look it is just it's beautiful honestly i think it's my favorite tree we've ever done it has all my pretty mary's angels which if you don't know are a hallmark collection they came out in 88 so they are literally a year older than i am my mom's been collecting them for me since i was a little 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 girl i have all of them and I just love them. And I love that she got them for me. So I even have the tree topper. I think I was like 17 when that came out. So this is definitely just a whole tree of memories. And then we move on to the stockings. Mom made these with me last year. So these are stockings that we picked up at Target and mom added the lace ruff. And then I made these metallic stocking tags and you can see they're foiled around the edges so i have links for all of that as well and i actually had these same stockings at target this year so there you go and we move over to the corner oh no my little truck my little truck is trying to die no i just added him so this was on a wreath i took it off and added it to the sign so the glue's just not quite set up. There we go. 
All right, so like I just said, this truck I made completely um, with basswood and felt with my Cricut. So that's all cut files that I have. This is a pretty resin mold that I made. And then this is my newest project for this year. And it is Santa's magic button. So one of my friends told me about this. I made it for her little girl. Um, so it's going to go to her house soon, but I couldn't help hanging it up. But you take the button and you hide it like under the tree or by a fireplace, somewhere that Santa might have accidentally dropped a coat bucket button. And it says Santa Claus, if lost, return to the North Pole. And then it's supposed to just be a special thing for the kiddos to find that says Santa was here. And then you can either hang it on the tree or she wanted a sign. So I made all of this as a cut file that I have up on the website on my blog. And then that was a resin mold I'll link to below, but my cute little sign collection. And they are over my new, I just got these new gingerbread trees and my pretty little side table, which I need a new extension cord for right there. Don't look too hard at that, but I love it. Coming around the room here. This is not a Christmas per se item, but it's a Christmas present for another friend. And it's Rosebud Motel key hooks that say, Ooh, David, Eo David. Can't say it like her, but still. And it's so cute. So I made these out of resin and then I made the whole vintage key rack. I'll leave links for that below as well, but so pretty. Moving to the rest of the room. We've got a few more things. Got a new pillow I picked up. I've got my cute little resin gnomes. I almost put these with the no-sew gnomes, but I thought that would be too many gnomes in one place. So instead I put them over here by the TV. Thought it'd be cute on my jingle bell sign. And of course I have my Christmas boxes down there. Back to the rose gold tree. And of course, last year I made all of these resin snowflakes. Link to that post. There's dozens of them on that tree. But this year I got these like iridescent hummingbirds and I really wanted to mimic them. So I made these resin hummingbirds to go with them. They're iridescent. They look so pretty with the light coming through them on the tree. And I made a bunch of them, like 15. You have to go look at the pictures because they show up way better in the pictures than they are on the video. Oh goodness. All right, so here's another little sign montage. I kind of think I think these might be my favorite signs. So this is my favorite sign of all time that I made like three years ago for over my bed when I was staying at mom's house. And I just love it. It's a little Santa Claus sign letter. And so I wanted to make a whole grouping based around this letter to Santa idea. So I just made this mailbox. I literally wanted a pink one, but none of the pink ones were available until January. So I got a white one and I spray painted it. I think it worked perfectly because then I could distress it a little bit. I made up a few Cricut cut files as letters to Santa, guaranteed delivery, deadline Christmas Eve, North Pole delivery. I just love it. So that's one piece. And then I made up all these little envelopes with my Cricut and all of these, you're on the nice list pieces. Those are resin. So this is three projects in one, really. The mailbox, the envelopes, and the nice list. But I just love how they come together. And then last but not least, I picked up these little resin molds and they are stamps. So I thought they would work perfectly to mimic these stamps. And together, this is just my little letters to Santa corner. And then I have a few more 
present boxes down here to kind of pull it all together. So if we come all the way back, we've got the whole side and I just, I don't know, I love how that looks. Not too much on this side, but I do have a cute few cute Christmas pillows on the couch, snowflakes and flannel. And I don't know. I'm still, still got more things to do in here. This couch has a matching chair that's being done. Um, I have an ottoman that's being done and a gray and white buffalo check. And the end tables are, are not even close to what I want. Leave a comment down below with what kind of end tables you think I should get. These are just two I pulled out of storage. Then we turn around. Ooh, hope you didn't make you dizzy. Here's the living rooms. Dining room. So it's all one big open area. And again, we went with a seafoam pink theme here. This egg does not go. But... I love it, love, love, love. This might be my favorite thing I did. So it has my pretty new Fitz and Floyd plates. It has a few of my pretty mercury glass trees. There's even a few resin trees in there from last year, if you recognize those. gingerbread centerpiece, pink glasses, and sherbet glasses, and it goes over to my pretty pink and seafoam nativity. I don't know about y'all, but I think all together that's just, I think it might be the best tablescape I've ever done. Really, this whole Christmas is kind of the favoriteest thing I've ever made. Alright, the kitchen itself doesn't have too much but I did pull out my my tree forest again and then I added a few things to it I'm trying to hold the camera steady but I'm sorry if you're all on a ride so if we come in here if you go back to last year's Christmas home tour you'll see a few differences so, difference number one is that I added a few iridescent and seafoam trees to make this, you know, pink and seafoam like the rest of the house. Thing number two is I added a few little trees to my three tier tray here, which I kind of love. There's a few things over here a little, a few little gnomes, bows on the windows little things on the shelves like this box present box and then we wish you a Merry Christmas I made this for the table last year it is actually a resin piece I have so many resin things nowadays just because I love making them I suppose but there you go there's the kitchen I love it and I really love sitting here among the the forest for lunch, quick little lunches. There we go, that's the main room. The only other place that's made up is my bedroom. So let's go back to the master bedroom. Okay, I also pulled one of these Christmas huts out that I made a few years ago. Literally made this with a stencil and my heat gun. I heat embossed it. And I meant to hang it somewhere cute. But I literally have not found anywhere. And it's just been sitting on the dog gate all season. So guess that's where it's going to stay. All right, y'all, and go down the dark hallway. Turn off all the lights so that it's not super yellow in here when I'm filming, but this is, this is very dark. All right, so 
so here's my bedroom all done up for Christmas. You can see I have a few pretty mercury glass trees here. I really love this one. And then a few more up here on the armoire. Of course, my rose gold tree and my gnomes over on my hope chest. Got out my fuzzy pillows for my bed and that is about it. So I don't do overly Christmas in here, but I do like to put just a few things around so that it's a little Christmassy when I'm going to bed. And as you can see, we've got a few projects in here. Just got this chair redone. I'm gonna have this little ottoman redone to match it. So that will be nice. And I'm going to redo this trunk and this chair that my mom got me. So Lily approves. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I will be back with more Christmas content, more home decor content. I will show you all these updates I've been talking about. Say bye, Lily.